How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid with a quick tutorial on how to load dehacked lumps in Vanilla Doom 2. So here I've got a clean Vanilla Doom 2 directory. The easiest place to have it is in C slash Doom 2 I find. Same with Doom. C slash Doom is good. I've got only the essentials that I need to run Doom 2 in this program, uh, in this directory rather. So sometimes you'll download a wad that only comes with de and wad and you'll wonder, hmm, how do I load this in vanilla? So first you want to extract it to your Doom 2 directory. Then you want to download dehacked, which I'll have a link to in the description. The only program you need from this entire directory that comes, DHE31, you just need dehacked.exe, nothing else. So you move dehacked.exe to your Doom 2 directory as well. So now you've put the mod you've downloaded and dehacked in your Doom 2 directory. Now you'll use DOSBox to actually launch Doom 2. So you navigate to your Doom 2 directory and then you type dehacked. This text ending in do you want to do this shows up. You press Y and now you press L. Hit Y when this window comes up. Now you can just hit enter and you can see the dev file there. You hit enter once again. There you go, patch file read. So you just hit enter. And now you press W. That writes it to an exe called doomhack.exe. Now you can just hit escape. And you type doomhack. So what this is, you can see there that doomhack that's been generated 346. And you can see it was created 346. So that implemented the changes from the dev file into your exe. So now, if you want to keep this mod around and play it a bunch, you could even rename this to whatever you want. But I'm just going to leave it as Doomhack. But the point is, if you rename it, you can put multiple mods in here without um, any issues of them overlapping. So now I'll type Doomhack that accesses that new exe. File mohawks.wad Because usually the de and the wad will have the same name. They should if they go together. Um, you need the dev file. It won't load properly in vanilla without it. Um, and in ports, you can simply select both and load them in your launcher or copy and paste them. But in vanilla, you need to go through this process. So now after all that rambling, let's see if it actually works. All right, it should. If I actually have different... Yeah, yeah, the rifle's different. The sprites work, the punch is different. So all of our changes have come over successfully. So this is how to load a dev file, also known as a dehacked file in vanilla Doom 2. Hopefully you find this helpful and I actually have a tutorial on creating dehacked mods if you'd like to make your own versions of these to distribute for people. Anyway, I hope this helps you.